Jonathan and Ben, how are you doing today? Really good, thank good. you. How are you? I'm really good. Such a pleasure to talk to you both. You so, considering the movie, this is an easy opening question okay. for you both. What is your favorite scary movie of all time? The first one that's coming to me is Scream. Yeah, same. I, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. I was trying to avoid saying it, though, because it was a little bit cliche. Yeah. 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 I've loved it at seventh grade. That was my jam. I, I had a voice changer. Surprise, <sighs> Sydney. Yeah, I had all, and the mask and the whole thing. And just the opening with Drew Barrymore. Oh, like, so good. Ah! Yeah. I think it's always the first scary movie when you're like in your teens that yes. hits you just right. That's the one that yeah. sticks in your brain forever is like, yeah. The one that you want to go back to or borrow off yes. the nose. What's yeah. yours? Mine is the Blair Witch. It completely oh, yeah. screwed me uh, up. I, yeah. I, I like anytime people are like, we're going camping. I was like, enjoy yourself. <laughs> I'm not, yeah. I'm not yeah. going with you. <laughs> Considering the central kind of concept of this is making impossible choices, I'm going to ask you both uh, some impossible choices for it and see if you can if you can answer them because they're they're, they're tough. Okay. You ready? Yeah. yeah. Coffee or chocolate. You can only have one for the rest of your life. Chocolate coffee. for me. Oh. Did you say coffee or toffee? He said coffee. Coffee. Coffee or chocolate. Coffee. And chocolate for me, I think. Comedy or action? To watch or to be in? That's that's up to you. If it's to be in, action. Oh, I, I, I'm not going to answer to be in. <laughs> and maybe to watch as well. But watch... Yeah, I, I don't watch a lot of comedy, so I think I would want to... I'd want to hold on to action. For the rest of your life, you can only do one of these two, singing or dancing. Ooh. Like even dancing on a dance floor? Any, anywhere, anywhere at all. Oh my God, they broke, they're, they're, they're the two things I like most in the entire world, singing. <laughs> I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go with singing because I think I could scratch the itch of dancing by exercising. Right. <laughs> but singing is so singular. I don't know if I can make, I actually don't know if I can make the choice. You have to. Have I think I've broken Ben. Yeah. I love dancing so much though, but I feel like they both do a lot for my soul. Um, <laughs> um, I think I'd, I think I'd miss singing the most. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, it's okay. Yeah. Cause you're still just singing in the shower, they're singing everywhere. So. They're singing everywhere for me, yeah. The, there's a, there's a lot to get there's a lot to get around. So that's all the tough questions. I'm so sorry. I, well, that was great. I enjoyed them. Oh, thank yeah, you. That was exciting. Uh, while I was watching this, I was thinking to myself, for the most part, I was like, this would also make an amazing play because there's so much around it that's, that feels kind of it could be theatrical if it wanted to be. But what is it like acting in a movie like this where for the majority of the runtime you literally cannot move? Yeah, it's it's strange. It's almost quite exposing. I feel like, um, I don't know, I am used to moving around <laughs> and like using my hands a bit. Um, and uh, yeah, you just meant that it was a very stripped, bare performance, I suppose. Not performance, but situation. There's, you know, we were very limited in what we could do and um, a very interesting, like nothing else I've ever done before. And it made it all the more intense, I think, not being able to move. Is that safe for you, Jonathan? I would say there's pros and cons. Like sometimes I would feel a little claustrophobic and a little restrained because we literally were. And then at the same time, sometimes when you're acting, you can feel like, what do I do with my hands? Or how do I stand? Or what, the fact that we could just had to sit there and say the lines and emote, it was, it was, it could be exposing in, in kind of a, a, for me, like a freeing way. I just had to feel it and express it. I didn't have to worry about telling the story with my body. Yeah, because I was curious how much were you actually tied up with? Like, could you just sit there with your hands behind your back or did they actually? If it was a wide, if it was there? a wide shot, then they would, or a close up of our hands and legs, they would actually tie us in the chairs, which took several minutes. Uh, but then when it was like here and like medium shots, we had these like breakaway ropes that, that helped us feel like we were tied, but we weren't, which was great because then we could pop out of there quickly. The magic of cinema. <laughs> exactly. Thanks so much, Jonathan and Ben. Thank you so much for your time, Thank, thank you. You too. Have a good day. Your family has been chosen to make a horrible decision. If you fail to choose, the world will end. <laughs>